Being one Latina in the United States means that although some of us are bilingual, we do have a reputation for butchering the Spanish language. We kind of sometimes butcher English too. Things like cantaloupe and honeydew really confused me. At my house, it was just melon and melon verde. Lime and lemon was just limon and limon verde. So I invited some of my friends from Better Like to talk about words that confuse them. <laughs> I get mixed up with butter and makeup all the time. Butter is mantequilla and makeup is maquillaje. Salmon, salmon, salmon. Why is there an L on salmon? And you don't want to, you don't pronounce it. That shit don't make no sense. When I'm talking to my mom and it's like, I'm talking in Spanish is like, I think in English. And then when the words come out, they're like wrong. And my mom's like, así no se pronuncia eso. There are two words in English that I actually hate saying because it gets taken out of context. And it's cheat, like sheet of paper and beach. It's like, oh, let's go to the bitch. You know, give me a sheet of paper. And that's not what you want when you're speaking with people. <laughs> I didn't realize until I was in elementary school, I ordered an Sprite at a deli and my friends laughed at me because my whole life until I was 10 years old, I thought it was a Sprite, but it was actually Sprite. In Spanish, you say, you know, voy a pasar un trapo, sabe, voy a pasar una escoba. My mom would say, voy a pasar la aspiradora, and that was like passing the vacuum. But in English, you don't say pass. Like I say that, and I realize that that isn't the way you say it in English. But isn't I'm gonna pass the vacuum like way more fun? I feel like whenever I'm talking to my boyfriend, he doesn't speak Spanish. So if I'm, if I'm explaining something and I don't know how to explain it, I'd be like, ooh, I don't know how to explain it in English. And he's like, yeah, I, I don't know Spanish, Julissa. And I'm like, give me a couple minutes so I can research my brain and I can figure it out. I had a lot of struggles figuring out the difference between the masculine and feminine because you would think intuitively like, oh, problema ends with an A, but it isn't la problema. I would always say la problema es, and that's wrong because problema is actually masculine, so it's el problema. It's also okay to admit that you don't know something. If your mother who speaks mostly Spanish says a word in English and somebody makes fun of her, you would fucking hate that person. So why is it okay for somebody to make fun of you when you don't understand a word in Spanish? It's definitely okay to keep learning every single day. Dive deep into your roots on both ends and enjoy yourself. Enjoy your version of the language. Dale papita fritas.